Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today in Belgium. I'm here at Pure Turbos, of course, with the M140i for something which I had to do to this car. I've done most things, but upgrading the turbo is not one of those up until now. I had to come to the guys here at Pure Turbos and rather than getting the turbo sent over to the UK, I thought I'd make a trip of it. I'm here in Belgium and I'm then gonna be going over to Germany once this is all complete. The car is currently running a stage two plus package. So basically we have 90% of um, the needed modifications already on the car. Um, so we're doing the Pure 800. We're actually gonna be upgrading the high pressure fuel pump again uh, from the B58TU to the Dorch stage two just to make the most of the power. Of course, we've got the meth and everything else you need uh, to be running a stage three package on the M140i. But I'm so excited to finally be doing this because a lot of you guys have been saying, I need to take it to stage three. And some of the other owners out there are taking these things to like 900, 1000 horsepower, which is nuts. Um, but I'm really looking forward to this. And I think the first plan is actually to get the car inside the workshop, get a base power run for what we're running at the moment. And then we'll take a look at everything which are fitting to the car, including the turbo, and then we'll get to work. But it's stage three time for my m 40 i Okay, in goes the car. I just will load it up onto the dyno, get some base runs. Before all the work begins. Okay, so base run is all complete. Car is off the dyno and now onto the four poster, ready for the disassembly. So obviously everything's all coming off the car, including the stock turbo. And actually down here, we have the new Pure 800. How cool does this look? Now, once the original turbo is actually off the car, we'll get both of them side by side, just so you can see the difference. But we also have the stage two uh, Dorch high pressure fuel pump, because obviously at the moment we have the TU pump on the car, um, in order to just maximize the power, it's best to do this. I should have done this anyway, so if anyone's thinking of going stage three on one of these, don't bother with the B58TU, just go straight to the stage two Dorch. Um, but yeah, Pure 800 turbo kit, ready to go on the car. This thing is all coming off at the moment. So let's get this all disassembled. Then once the original turbo's off, we'll get it next to this so we can see the differences before getting this one fitted. Okay, so the original turbo is now off the car and we're actually joined with Peter here from Pure Turbo. So mate, thank you so much for, uh, for well, having the car here um, and getting all of this done. So we have obviously the OEM turbo off the car, last time that's gonna be on the car, <laughs> and then the Pure 800 over here. Now there's obviously a lot of differences between both the turbos. Um, so if you wouldn't mind kind of giving us a, a little bit of a run through. Hey Luke, it's nice having you here today. Thank you. So we're very happy that you trusted us with your car and doing yeah. your project. Uh, indeed, like you mentioned, there is a big difference between both uh, turbochargers, uh, the original one and the upgrade Pure 800 unit. It's a very popular model. Uh, as you can see, the compressor wheel is uh, a lot bigger than the stock turbo compressor wheel. Uh, the same uh, can be said about the turbine side, so the hot side. Uh, and even though it's a large wheel combination, uh, which is more heavy and takes a bit uh, more time to spool, 
uh, there's only like a 500 RPM spool delay. Yep. Uh, so the turbo is spooled, uh, depending on the maximum torque that you do, around 3000, 3200 mm -hmm. RPM. Mm -hmm. uh, but in exchange, you get uh, a very big top end difference. Yes. So yeah. the top end that you can get from this turbo, it really depends on the octane that you use and how mm -hmm. far you want to push things. Yep. Uh, on our M140, we had the pure 800 do around 740 at the wheel. Wow. Uh, where it more or less becomes, uh, it's the maximum from the efficiency yeah. uh, for this turbo. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, on pump fuel, you will see around usually between 500, 520 at the wheel. Yeah. Uh, on uh, E30 mix, we see around 600 mm -hmm. at the wheel. Uh, yeah. which is around 660 crank, which we also believe is a safe limit for the stock engine. Yeah. Uh, there are people running it, uh, we have a few customers running it also a little bit more at 630 at the wheel, which is yeah. around 700 crank. Wow. Um, so far so good, <laughs> but the more you push things, obviously yeah. the higher the risk. Absolutely. Uh, so Absolutely. we recommend 600 at the wheel. Uh, yeah. If people really want, we can software, uh, for the software, for the turbo, it's not a problem to yeah. push it further, but for the safety of the engine, it's better at that point yeah, to uh, build it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna. I, I have no plans to, to build the engine. I think this is probably the furthest I'm gonna go because yeah. it, it's a lot of power. <laughs> yeah, it's you, a lot of power. It will be like a different car. I yeah. think we baselined your car in the morning. Yeah. Um, you were around 410 at the wheel. Yeah. Uh, we a should be pushing it to yeah, 580, 600 we... at the wheel. Yeah. So. I mean, it's like 200, it's like half your yeah, horsepower absolutely. extra. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And you notice yeah. as well, it, it was running a little bit lower than what it should do, really, for the yeah. base map, yeah. uh, well, for the base run before all the work's done. Uh, but hopefully, once this is all done, then then we'll back, be back up there with some with some decent numbers. But yeah, I guess all that's left to do now is to get the pure fitted. Really, really excited for this. Yeah, um, it will and be... then, um, yeah, then at the end of the video, also be getting it on the dyno and all completed, making some serious power. That's the plan. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>Okay, little update, things are going well. Turbo is now all fitted to the car. Our car, of course, car is all stripped out still and up on the ramp. Although there is some bits which we have actually added on to the job. <laughs> and that is mainly a new exhaust, basically a bigger bore exhaust. So in order to kind of maximize the power, we've opted for this. Uh, so basically on these cars, you normally have a pancake three inch uh, mid pipe which mm -hmm. is quite restrictive. Uh, when we have car on the dyno and we are putting a lot of power through it, we can see it blow away the exhaust extraction. Yeah. So then we know that uh, if you, it goes through the pancake section, the air gets pressed together and you get high speed air going out of the exhaust, mm -hmm. especially on uh, smaller, shorter chassis. Yeah. You see that happening. Uh, so to improve on this, uh, we experienced, it, experienced with uh, a three and a half inch exhaust already uh, years ago. And we saw on B58, uh, this brings like uh, 15, 20 horsepower at the wheel, just okay. by changing yeah. the exhaust to a three and a half inch system. Mm -hmm. So you decrease the back pressure uh, at the turbo. It yep. allows for smoother flow of the exhaust gases out of uh, the system. Yep. And it brings some extra gains, even running the same software. Perfect, perfect. And this is a, a custom exhaust, isn't it? Yeah, there is yeah. no company that I'm aware of yeah. uh, that makes these out of the box. Okay. Uh, yeah. We had one from Williams Performance mm -hmm. uh, some time ago, yep. but uh, I don't know if he does them anymore. Okay. Uh, yeah. But uh, this is custom made, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, because the, the piping is quite large, yeah. you really, either the aftermarket companies like Remus or Akrapovic, uh, mm -hmm. they go to a double, I think 65 or 67 millimeter system yeah. after the downpipe, uh, because the room is quite limited. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With these, we also usually put a, another underbody brace. Mm -hmm. uh, so because it has it needs a little bit more clearance yeah yeah um, so but uh, th it's a good investment yeah uh, we recommend it especially yeah. if you're doing pure upgrade I mean the sound will also sound more deep and yeah. uh, uh, it's more bassy which mm. is nice yeah, yeah true uh, and true. you get some free horsepower uh, together <laughs> so, with it, so uh, <laughs> yeah that's very true very true but everything's all going well with mine 
uh, should be should, well should be kind of putting it all back together soon I think yeah I think it. Uh, oh, maybe another half an hour yeah. just putting the exhaust the braces I think on Perfect. the top part we're almost done as well so uh, soon awesome. we can put it back on the dyno yeah absolutely see what it makes so so excited about this but yeah obviously fresh exhaust a couple of other bits as well fresh spark plugs that kind of thing but all going well nearly done Okay, in comes the car. God, listen to how much different it sounds. That three and a half inch exhaust. Such a deep tone now, that's actually mad. That is so different. Of course, now everything is all fitted and installed on the car. It's time to get it on the dyno and then basically get tuning. But yeah, I can't get over how much different this thing sounds now. Mad. Absolutely mad. Of course, the car is absolutely filthy as well because it's been a little bit of a trip over from the UK. Probably the dirtiest that these wheels have ever been. Um, but yeah, it's dyno time. Okay, car is all strapped down on the dyno. Uh, the car is actually now running uh, a stage three off the shelf boot mod map. Um, so we're just going to get a baseline to see. What it's, uh, what it's running on the off the shelf map. And then obviously the tuning will start. Um, but yeah, really, really looking forward to this. Actually really looking forward to hearing it as well with this new exhaust. Cause even just kind of rolling on uh, to the dyno here, it sounds so much different, so much deeper. Um, but yeah, now is uh, the final stages really. Tuning time, see what you can get. Obviously Peter will be at the wheel uh, on the dyno, getting it all tuned up and all ready. I think the plan is we're gonna do two maps. Uh, so one will just be uh, the pump fuel with the meth, uh, so the 50-50 mix through the one nozzle in the charge pipe like we had before. Um, and then we're also gonna do an E30 map. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can stick some E30 in the tank, uh, see what it can hit uh, on essentially race fuel, 30% uh, ethanol uh, in mixed with the pump fuel. Now I'm actually still running 99 Ron from the UK. I filled up just before uh, I made the Channel Tunnel crossing, but here in Belgium, you can only get 98 Ron. Uh, we've got a quarter of a tank at the moment, so hopefully we don't need to go down to the 98. Uh, but we'll see how things go. Uh, but yeah, still at the moment running 99 fuel and uh, obviously with the meth as well, but then later on, we can see if we can get some E30 in there as well. See what we can hit, bit of a fun map, uh, but yeah, two switchable maps that we're gonna be doing for the car. Anyway, let's get the dyno all uh, started up, get the baseline done on the off the shelf map, and then we will go from there. Pump map is done, made some fairly good power. Obviously this is all in wheel horsepower, um, but now it's it's ethanol time. Yeah, <laughs> we got uh, 10 liters of ethanol okay. to go with, with, I think it's around 20 liters of uh, regular fuel in the tank. Yep. This should make for a nice E30 blend. Mm -hmm. And I think we will see some higher some numbers nice next. Some nice numbers, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we think we did a couple of revisions uh, of the base map, but basically what we've got uh, at the moment is 524.7 wheel horsepower. Now that I think, I'll have to do the calculations, I'll probably put it on screen. I think it's just over 600 brake horsepower, um, which is absolutely mad. But of course with the E30, it's gonna be even crazier. Um, yeah. So what, 10 liters of this going in? Yeah, yeah. let's give the beast some power. <laughs> Okay, so tuning is done. Uh, we made uh, two maps. So Correct. we've still got the E30 in the car. So we've got an E30 map and like a pump fuel map. And we've got three on 
the board here. So if it's all right to kind of give us a bit of a walkthrough of the three that we're looking at on, on here. As you can see, the blue map, that's how you brought the car yesterday morning yep. uh, when we did the baseline. Uh, as we mentioned already, it was being a stage two plus map a little bit on the low side. Uh, so I was a little bit worried what we could get out of it yep. uh, because the logging parameters looked fine. But uh, after the installation of the Pure 800 uh, and uh, doing some custom tuning with Halim from HC Performance uh, using the boot mode platform, uh, we got a very nice result, I think. Uh, for pump fuel, we have the red curve, mm -hmm. which is pushing around 737 uh, wheel newton meters of torque and 524 uh, wheel horsepower. Yep. Uh, after that, we changed, uh, added some ethanol to the tank, went to the E30 map, and and uh, yeah, just think for the first time, we struggled a little bit to keep torque down. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was doing 820 Newton meters at the wheel uh, mid range. Uh, for rear wheel drive, it may be a little bit too hard uh, yeah. to manage. Mm -hmm. So we lowered it a little bit to seven, I say around 800 wheel Newton meters mm -hmm. and 620 wheel horsepower. <laughs> I'm very happy. The yeah. curve looks very nice. Yeah. I'm sure it will be uh, a blast to drive. Absolutely. Absolutely. I cannot wait. Awesome stuff so there we are then tuning is all done car is all finished and back outside and that is a wrap just to summarize then the car running the e30 map so 30 percent ethanol content in the tank running 730 brake horsepower of course i'm not going to be running e30 all the time on the car i'm going to be running uh, pump fuel 99 ron or here in um, belgium 98 ron because like i said that's the best fuel they have here um, it's running 620 horsepower so <laughs> some serious gains 620 pump and 730 e30 um, wow 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 i cannot wait to get behind the wheel of this thing and give it a proper drive because actually next stop we're heading straight to germany obviously um, but you guys are gonna have to wait for another video for the first drive of some autobahn runs uh in this car um but i am i just already seeing the figures on paper i know that this thing is going to be an absolute monster looks like a show car but it's not. Um, in fact, it's absolutely filthy at the moment. But that's besides the point. A big thank you to Peter and the guys here at Pure Turbos for everything they've done for this car. Undoubtedly, it's gonna be completely transformed. You can find all the contact details and all the relevant links uh, down in the video description. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like. And make sure you subscribe for all the adventures and stuff to come.